Good morning, campers, and welcome back to the Cut the Camera podcast. It's your favorite host, Nick Sterniolo. Matt Sterniolo. And Chris. If I sound like a nasally freak, it's because I feel like the fucking boogeyman is in the bridge of my nose right now, straight up. Like, okay. I feel, like, attacked by allergies today. Well, you want to know what sucks, Nick? What? This podcast episode is a podcast meant for you. I know. This is Nick's podcast episode. Imagine one day if you guys came up here and I just kicked that jukebox and, like, it turned on and, like, a nice beat played. And you, like, spun around your fit change and <laughs> yeah. you're like, oh, yeah. like, I could see that happen. <laughs> Like, you just throw your arms out. Yeah, it's like, and oh, that's I just crazy. have, like, a leather jacket You just start on. doing the electric shuffle. Exactly. Anyways. Okay, so anyway, me and Chris spent, like, about an hour and a half the other day writing down 50 topics that we think Nick could talk about for hours. <laughs> and I have no idea <laughs> what any of them are. I have no clue what I'm No idea. And Literally just sitting here. No I clue. don't think there's any way that we get through all 50 of them, but... If not, we can do this again. If we like get to thirty, or we'll we add just ten carry more, these and we'll topics. do another thirty, or we might bring them into our other content. So, who knows what will happen? Of, they're awesome. It's like, a great list. And Matt, depending we're on out this depending list. on how long we can talk about, like some of them will depend how far down we get to this list. But yeah, I think it's, it's going to open up like stories and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But like me and Matt were writing this list the other night, like dying laughing at like just one word, like literally just oh saying God. it and then just imagining just Nick like hearing that. It's all that. things that like <laughs> Nick has been seen Let's fucking do it, bro. I'm always ready. I'm all always right. on 10. Chris, do you want to read the first yeah, one? I was. Sure? This says yesterday's, but we wrote the thing like it's okay, the just wrong speak. day. But um, the other day, our escape room experience. Yeah, insane. <laughs> Pretty insane. Any thoughts? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> that, like, that's the answer after every topic will be done in five minutes. No, I just I just envisioned. Hold on, let's shit my eyeball. I just envisioned <laughs> like a whole a whole story time for this, but we can do it here. We can <laughs> we can. Why don't we do this first and then we can go? Like the other ones are nothing like like a story. Yeah, time. nothing like a story. This is it was just fresh on our mind. Yeah, it was the other day. But mm -hmm. okay, wait. No. Okay, so we went to an escape room the other day, and we were like, it was, um, we always go to a specific chain of escape rooms, right? So whenever we go to click the link to go to fucking escape, it's like, I don't know, I'm gonna make one up, it's like escape room LA. So it's like, we're used to like that brand of escape room, and you go, it's usually like three rooms in each like quest, and it's like, you just escape, it's fun little riddles, I feel like I'm playing a little game, right? Yeah. We decided to get scary with it for God knows what reason. Okay. And we went in the cannibal themed escape room, which would have been fine Look, if there was just like fake body parts and we've like. We've done, we've done like scary themed escape, escape rooms before, but it's been like alien takeover or some shit like that. And there's still like blood, but it's like green slime or whatever. And the one that we did was cannibal. And on the thing that we always read before we go to the escape rooms is saying like, no, no. It literally said no live actors, no, like, it wasn't that bad. And it was, like, five levels of difficulty. And I'm like, it can't be that terrifying if it's, like, a five out of five on the difficult scale. Because if, like, if you do anything with the level of fear involved, the a difficulty harder. doubles. So yeah. it's, like, if it's a five out of five difficulty and you add fear to it, it's a ten <laughs> out of ten. Because, like, I could play tic-tac-toe in here or like a cannibal's layer and I'll do worse there because of the because you're nervous yes. correct yeah so we're in the fucking we get to the escape room and the lady she was nice but she was a freak of nature she was talking like <laughs> a weirdo and she was like we asked her she was like so you're supposed to lock all your phones in like this crate I don't know why us and our friends listened and we all put our phones and bags into like the box we get in the hallway and she's like all right she like does the whole little fucking immediate character change. All right, and today we're yeah, today we're yeah, gonna like be going like... to the cannibals den. And she's like freaking out. <laughs> and she's like, "All right, let me grab you guys your hoods." <laughs> Everyone was in shock, and she gets these five like hooded, like hoods. five bags. It was five like thick hoods. pillowcases, like really yeah. thick for our heads. Hit pillowcases, and we were all like, "Oh no." Yeah. Oh, no. We're not doing that. So everyone denied that. And we were like, we'll just close our eyes and then open our eyes when we get in there. I get put in the room first. So I go in the room and I'm standing there. And I, 
I'm not closing my fucking eyes. eyes. Time, yeah. I'm not closing my eyes at all. She's like <laughs> guiding me in with her hands and I'm looking at her. Like I'm just, I, my eyes were open the whole time. She puts me in the room and I look up and Chris, Maddie, Matt, our other friend were standing in the hallway. And I was like, oh my God, she's going to bring us all in here. And I thought she was going to bring us in individually and like face us like this, like at different parts. Yeah. And there was gonna be like a different piece of the puzzle, like right in front of us. No, I was locked in a prison cell. Then she brings Chris in and I see her put him across the room. That's it for now. And then I see her grab Maddie, bring Maddie in, put Maddie in the same Maddie in like room a meat locker. that Chris is in, and then shut the door and put a padlock on it. So now Chris and Maddie are locked in this fucking room. And it's not like a prison cell like mine. Like I can put my hands through, I can talk to her. They were like sealed shut, door and everything. Then they bring Matt in, put Matt in the prison cell to my right. So I can't Tell see Matt the is. entire time. Twin, they're in twin prison cells. The entire time. Then they bring our other friend in. Put her in a fucking electric chair electric looking thing. Electric chair and tie her hands in. <laughs> tie her hands in. Yeah. And then the lady said, no live actor. She said, all right, and closes the door. And we start hearing the story. Uh, this is about a cannibal, this is a, whatever, like the whole like rundown. And then our friend in the chair sees someone's shadow from the other room and a fucking person dressed up as a cannibal with a chainsaw comes into the room and starts just sawing shit while all of us are immobile. It's like, that's what I also don't get. If you're going to have a live a actor in an escape room, at least give him or them the position to like, in which they can actually like do fuck something. something just running like you're around coming in into a, a room in which everyone's already caged and tied off. Yeah. Literally all we can do is look at you. <laughs> Be like, wow, you look like a damn fool. I'm sitting behind metal walls. I can't do shit. Yeah. You're I just, can't do anything. <laughs> you're just running around to fucking Yeah, you're running around with your like a scary chainsaw. You're not like that was the least terrifying part. I'm you I already agree. you put you 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 I'm put me in, put a, you, in a you put me away from you. It's like why why try and scare someone with a chainsaw when you can't even approach them? Are you dumb? Yeah. Then we were just like, Chris was panicked, I was panicked. We were like, we're not fucking doing this. I got my friend out of the electric chair, and we were just like, we're out of here. So we said, can we end the game? And the lady's like, you want to end the game? We're like, yeah. She comes around. No, doesn't even come around yet. No, she took forever. Oh she my took, God, I forgot. She took like 20 minutes to come around. Chris, The room that Chris and Maddie were locked in, they were padlocked in, but it was also magnetized. So the part like before the lock just demagnetized so they could open the door. So they get out. Nick unties our friend there from the electric chair. So it's just me and Nick still in a prison cell. And the doors did not open at all. Not even a little bit. And, like, I hate when escape rooms are always, like, like I go to open the door and I'm like, damn, you really got to put pressure into this. And I feel like I'm going to break something because if I really wanted to, I could rip the fucking door off its hinges. But then it's just, like, I'm respecting the three fingers of force, force rule. rule. Yeah. I gotta throw the fucking door into the wall to get it open. Yeah, so Matt finally freed me. We all got out. It took the lady, like, five minutes to come let us out of the fucking room. And then she lets us out. And she's like, oh, like, are you guys sure you want to end your experience? Like, yeah, like, that, I don't think we're ready for the fucking Hannibal's Den, live actors, like, all this crazy shit. And she's like, okay, we understand. She's like, do you want to do another one? Like, we can swap you to, like, an easier one that's, like, less crazy. We were like, yeah, sure. And she's like, okay, book it now. Like, go fill it out online. I said, I literally said the word swappy. I said, I thought you were giving <laughs> us a swappy. I don't want to, <laughs> I'm not paying again. Granted, for the five people, it was, like, $217. Holy Jesus shit. Christ. Yeah, and we paid. I was like, I was like, you're, if you're not giving us a swappy, we don't need to yeah. pay again. We're not too that passionate yeah. about being in it. I'm like, I, that's the only reason I was in the Cannibal's Den one for the five minutes I was. I would have left at minute one if I didn't yeah. think of the fucking invoice of $217 <laughs> yeah. in the back of my head. But we went and the other one did the other one. The other one was way better. The other one was really fun. But the thing that was crazy to me and what I hate about escape rooms is when they're like two fingers of force and you're doing the puzzle right, but you need like... To throw, that, that's what I'm telling you, dude. They, they told I'm us telling you. To, to finish the last thing you on gotta, the like, other break escape room, something. it was like, break, break, something. break something. Break something made of glass. And she said, break, break yeah, that. Like, break that vase. Oh, and they're like, crack the, they're break like, it. Break the vase. And I was like, no way. I thought I said, bring the vase. So we brought the vase all <laughs> the way to the first room. And then as we're going room to room, it's like, bring the vase back to where it belongs. I was like, and no break fucking it. way. We like, and no I was like, fucking are you... All of us were like said to the camera, are you saying break the vase? She's like, yeah, break it. I'm like, I literally confirmed 20 times. Yeah. I was like, break it. 
Like, <laughs> break it. <laughs> like, you want us to break this? <laughs> I'm like, do you... Like, you will not have it again. Like, yeah. usually, like, I was in shock. Break it? Crazy. Yeah, like, that, throw like, it on the ground. We were like, throw it on the ground. Everything she like, said. Like, you need... <laughs> I asked a question. <laughs> you said again with two question marks. Yeah, because she was like, break it. I was like, break it? She was like, throw it on the ground. I'm like, throw it on the ground? <laughs> What are you saying? So we threw it on oh. the ground and had a ruby inside. We got out. But it's like, <laughs> that's crazy. I've never had to break something in the escape room. And it turns room. out at the end, we were like, just out of curiosity, does the live actor in the cannibal just got to sit there all night long? And the lady that we've been talking to for like two hours goes, it's me. It yeah, was, me. was me. She ran around the back half of the escape room, put a costume on. I thought it was a man. I don't she know, was dude. in the thing. She I, looked way taller. I literally thought like, I saw a different skin tone. That's what confused yeah, me. I don't know. I thought that I saw like well, it was dark in the room. So like I don't know. The lighting was different. All yeah, that stuff, but, but it was crazy. I thought it was for crazy. sure it was a completely different person. W- terrible experience. Yeah, I hated it. But it was it got better after. Terrible I, because like, we're not that type of people. If people if you love that shit, you'll you'll love it. It kind of ruined you know? my like vibe for escape rooms for a bit, honestly. And I was telling Matt that. Like I don't really feel like as like I think that's well, so my upsetting. Whole fun in an escape room is like being puzzled, figuring it out, like figuring out the actual puzzle to escaping. I don't need the factor of the, being absolutely the life terrified or death while trying yeah. to get out. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm not not I just don't fuck that. with being locked in a cage without my phone. And well, like, also, I just met you and you're locking me in a crate. And like it's I'm like a we signed a waiver. Like dog. we could be signing like like anything. Dude. And also what pisses Scary me shit, off. Dude. What pisses me off too is like the I hate escape rooms in which it like separates like the my whole fun in escape rooms too is like being with my friends and like solving things together. Literally in the first cannibal room, we noticed two different things two different puzzles that would have brought someone else have to do it alone for like five minutes plus alone completely yeah and it's like no it's like i'm not here to be puzzled alone yeah i'm doing it's an escape like, room with my I, friends i think escape rooms is team building activities i agree you know? the go, second Matt. we separate each other it's like what's yeah. the fun in that i'm not that smart 100 percent. garlic I bread sneeze. garlic bread yeah see i'm more of a fan of garlic bread just at home that i could make than, like, garlic bread from a restaurant. I feel like a restaurant, they try too hard to make it, like, a restaurant-quality <laughs> bread, and they they add, like, <laughs> too much. You just want garlic, Butter, garlic, garlic powder in the oven. Yeah. <laughs> That's garlic bread. <laughs> yeah. Anything else is a fucking mess. Yeah. Okay, there you go. That's it? That's it. Okay. I got the next one here. Yep. Funny, Funny birthday, birthday cards. Mmm. <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> like how do you feel about them? It totally depends who's giving you the card. Okay, like if I get a funny birthday card from like you guys or Maddie or Nate, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna laugh, right? Yeah. yeah. If I get like a funny birthday card from like, I'm, I'm gonna be that. freaked out. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> don't laugh with me. Yeah. Okay. So that it can only be like reciprocated by like someone. Yeah, like friend. if it's someone who would like say the joke on the card, or like usually you get a funny birthday card because it's an inside joke from like your real life. Yeah. yeah. So it's like if we don't have like an inside joke or like a fun little card moment, don't. Yeah. Like, don't get me a funny birthday card. <laughs> Stick to happy birthday. You want know, like the happy birthday like polka dots on it. Call yeah, it like if it. you can figure out like <laughs> a, a funny birthday card that could like really hit home for me, absolutely. Yeah. But I feel like you need to be in a certain position in which to do that. Yeah. yeah. Nathan there gets the best birthday, best birthday cards. cards. Like, they're ever. fucking hilarious. No, like, I don't know even, how he does even it. Even like if um if I received like a card from a fan and it was a funny thing and it like tied to our car videos, I consider that like an inside joke. Yeah, like, we don't have to have like this deep personal connection for you to give me a funny birthday card. It's it just, just got to make me gets laugh. Me, like, like if you give me a funny birthday card and it's like funny to the general public, but not to me and you. Yeah, I get that. Leave it on the show. All right, next topic. That friend, that friend that got you the hat for your birthday one year. <laughs> I already talked about it enough. Have you? Well, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's fine. I just don't like feeling like ungrateful. That makes me feel ungrateful. But it's like once again, who would get me a fucking hat? True. You don't wear them. When was the last time you saw me wearing a hat, especially a winter hat? Chicago. No winter hat. Last time I saw you wearing a baseball hat. Yeah, you you bought... said, well, you asked the question. You did I ask the then. question that you, you like, asked doubled the... it up. I asked the question. No, you asked no, the question. You, like, doubled that you it up as I was When was the last time? No, you were not answering it. Whatever. There was whatever. a moment of silence. Okay, sure. When was the last time you saw me wear a winter hat? 
you had to be in the closet still. <laughs> you know what I mean? Move on. <laughs> you know, it, it was a while. It's been yeah. a while. Move on. Slow walkers. Don't even talk about He's like them. brewing it up right now. Do you know those things that you like put on your ankle <laughs> and you spin around and you like hop over it with the other foot? Yes. It's like a hopscotch <laughs> thing. Yeah. I want to just bring those on one of my feet and when slow walkers are walking, just spin my ankle in front of them and like <laughs> just hit you in the ankles with your sh- with shit. Wow. Or bring like a long rope and just whip their feet. Literally. It's crazy. I hate slow walkers. <laughs> More Especially than anything. like I've never met a slow walker. That's slow walking in a position in which it's okay. Like, you're slow walking in front of the entire general public trying to fucking get around you. There's not a single slow walker on this earth that makes slow walking just their fucking issue. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, people who walk slowly, like, it, at, they make at, it like, an universal issue for everyone and, around like, Disney, you. Stick to the fucking right. Far right <laughs> against the wall. Yeah. If you're going to slow walk. If you're slow walking because, like... Universal Disney Airport. That's like when you find Well, the- there are some limits. You know what I mean? Like, you can walk slow if you're in a wheelchair. Well, you're not walking. <laughs> well, like, wheel slow. Okay. <laughs> I guess. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, anyone who actually is disabled and has, like, an issue with walking, walk slow all you need to. Completely understand. No, I think the worst is when there's a group of people that just have no fucking clue where they're yes. going. And they're all walking at like yes. minuscule slow yes. pace. Like this. No, it's and us- they're all like they're all lined up in like a no, doorway. No, it's usually or, like, the a family hallway. and it's like their one big fucking day out at the mall. And it's like every fucking person from your family's at this mall. Your fucking uncle, your grandma, everyone's together. You've gone to like 20 stores already. You have like 30 bags. And you're just moving at your leisure rate because you fucking have to get everything in one mall trip. That's usually what it is. Bring grandma home. Come to the mall once a week. Make it brief. Yeah. All right. There you go. There's just no need to be fucking crowding a full. It's usually it also it's I hate when teenagers are like at like this like oh it's like it's like eight fucking fools. And they're, like, joking around with each other and, like, throwing shit and, like, walking slow and making loud noises. It's like, go home or go into a fucking monkey pen at the zoo, you crazy animals. Literally. <laughs> That's What's a monkey I see pen. Teen- <laughs> I see teenagers <laughs> that crazy. Go to the fucking <laughs> zoo. Look for an exhibit in which there's no animals and lock yourself in and fool around <laughs> for everyone's great. entertainment that wants to watch. Seriously. Because I fucking hate... I, I hate seeing, like, like just... Or any teenage shit. Like, teen girls, it's, like, a group of, like, nine of them, and, like, they all have to build up the confidence for, like, one of them to go ask for, like, some random guy's Snapchat. It's, like, all ten, <laughs> all ten of them are sitting there, like, go, go, go. And it's, like, this 30-year-old man at the mall, just, like, teen girls and teen boys with, like, zero, zero skate for, like, reality and society. It's, like, go to someone's house, have a sleepover, watch a fucking movie. Just get out of the mall. Go to the zoo. No, the one thing that blows my mind is when there's slow walkers that are at such a slow pace that it doesn't even seem natural. Like, I'd have oh. to try to walk at, like, the I'd pace that they're going. I'd have to cut both my feet off and <laughs> walk know, with honestly. my ankle knobs literally like this. That's how I'd have to walk slow. I'd have to be profusely bleeding out and walking into no, the yeah, emergency I was say, I room get to get shot in the kneecap fast. and walk faster than the some kneecap, people. I could get shot in the heart and walk faster. <laughs> literally. It's like, pick up your pace. These people are walking with no level of emergency and like it's like I walk from place to place with like full blown emergency. I'm it's going to emergency. I'm going to <laughs> not emergency. Oh, emergency. I'm going to eat. I'm not I'm not just hungry. I'm starved. I'm walking there to eat. I need a jacket. I'm not just casually jacket shopping. I need a jacket or I'm gonna freeze to death. Oh it's like add some God. urgency to your scenarios and you'll oh. be fine. Because like in school was the worst. Like kids would just walk so slow and like just the hallways. Like, you need wider hallways. If I, I used to get stuck behind someone and like a slow walker in school and then be to class and they're like, oh, like you're a minute late. And I just want to look at the teacher and say, fuck yourself. <laughs> Seriously, because you know what I just went through to get here? I don't want to be here anyway. I was walking behind fucking Cindy Lou and her squad to fucking take her squad ever. I just don't like, like, squads walking together either. It's like, walk faster. Yeah, I agree. I can honestly <laughs> do one slow walker because, like, you're taking up a minuscule amount of pace. It's like the 20 people 
all, it's the groups. Get, the groups of people. Like, the people who are deciding where to go as they're, like, all, like, crawling. To... I also don't understand, because I have I was just a teenager in high school, you know what I mean? So I can, like, think about this, but it's, like, I don't understand. Under, I don't understand. I don't understand why teenagers in, like, high school, and I used to be one, go to, like, the mall or, like, public settings to, like, hang out and do the same shit it's like go to one of your homes go to a park you know what i mean park's always like, a good option people would go to the mall and just like hang out and r- raise chaos as like a group of 20 teenage friends go anywhere else when i was in high school i go to someone's house i go to the fucking park i'd i'd find a solution high that would not sports games or something. havoc to everyone around yeah yeah all right is All it right, that hard to topic, live Nick. in peace? How do you feel about that one kid that takes the full bowl of candy on Halloween? Honestly, go good for you. I've never built up that confidence for myself. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I was never the candy fucking grabber. Right, let me add a little twist you to know? it. How do you feel when he, like, takes the bowl, too? Like, he's not just... Not, if you're not taking the bowl, that's crazy. Yeah. It's like, if you're going to take everything, at least leave. Spare the bowl. Spare the bowl. I, I What I don't like when people, are, like, take the whole thing of candy is when they're, like, with a group, like... If, like, a group of, like, 20 of your friends are, like, going trick-or-treating or whatever. I And, agree. like, the first person up the stairs that thinks he's, like, the cool friend takes all the candy and, like, doesn't share with anyone. It's, like, every single one of your friends was about to get to that house. Yeah, you know it's I mean? like... It's, like, you're not stealing candy from, like, people who might show up to this house after you. It's, like, you just robbed all of your friends, friends. You, know, you went out with with candy. And it's, like, you're, like, not that serious, one. But two, it's like that's crazy for like little kids. You know what yeah. I mean? It's crazy like, how like obtainable candy really is. Like, I know. On Halloween, it like seems like it's like, just instead like instead of getting candy on Halloween, you should have like a Halloween fucking lemonade stand and you charge a fucking dollar for lemonade or something. And you go to the fucking clearance section the day after Halloween. You can spend 15 bucks on what you would have got. Yeah, correct. That is very true. I used to do that all the time. It costs once, fifteen dollars to buy a once treat or tricking. Once <laughs> trick or treating. <laughs> Even matter, Costco. Right? I know Costco has to have some crazy amounts of candy. Yeah, they definitely do. But cool. even after like trick or treating, like once I realized it didn't matter, like when I was like fourteen, thirteen, whatever, I would just go to CVS the next day and buy the on sale shit. Like in Absolutely. just big bags. Because this literally the day after Halloween Absolutely. is Sorry, this list like is so for funny. everything. Yeah. And it's just such discounted prices for the exact same amount of candy you could have got the day before. It's just not as much of a variety. You know what I mean? No, it is. Sometimes. Sometimes. It's like a 10-pack. Yeah. If Eight you're pack? lucky. Sarah Paulson, you got anything oh to say? Oh, my God. <laughs> I love her. Mm-hmm. I think that Sarah Paulson's an amazing actress. She's just like a kind soul, too. Yeah. yeah. Like, I feel like... Uh, <laughs> like, there's so many celebrities that just, like, keep my heart warm. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And just, like, keep me going inside. Uh-huh. She's one of them. Okay. It's like, uh, who else do I talk about all the time? Well, I have next on the list. It's not a celebrity that you're, like, very fond of. But uh, what is it about J.I.D. as a rapper that makes you resonate with him a little more than everybody else? It's better. Oh, that would have been hard. <laughs> that like, is that's hard. like a good intro. He's essentially him. better. Like, seriously. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just, I don't know. JID is a, like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. I just enjoy what he's doing. But I don't know. Sarah Paulson, like, she's just so good because she's done so many different roles that are all, like, so different. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Crazy talented. Yeah, For really sure. talented. And she's good. Like, she's a great actress. I feel, I feel. Sucked into the show. Uh, I feel like I'm entering my TV show portal. She's in American Horror Story. That movie Run. So, so good. good. What's so oh, good. that one's really so good. really good. That's like one of my favorite movies. Ocean's Eight. Have you guys seen Ocean's Eight? I haven't. I haven't. We were watching that. Okay. So good. Down. Need to see that. She's in that. What else is she in? She's just great. Okay. Move on. Cute little animals. I love cute little animals. I think that that's the similar on the birthday cards. Scale. Okay. At what sense? Don't send me cute little animals if you're not my friend. Okay. Okay. Or if we don't got a cute little animal thing. You yeah. know what I mean? Like if you and this one person talk about baby koalas all the time. Like I would I would never see I would never see a cute little like baby animal and like story share it to the public, but I'd send it to like three friends and I'm like, oh, they deserve to see this these cute little animals. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's an intimate like an thing. Earn it thing. It's an intimate thing. Yeah. You don't publicly post every cute little animal you see. You're ruining it. Uh-huh. Unless you do. 
and that's like it's like a, mm, oh you're the provider like, that of makes them. sense you yeah. know what i mean because mm-hmm. sometimes there's like an animal you see and it's like the world needs to see this yeah because it's so different fun and like the baby giraffe it. dude the smallest baby giraffe crazy that was crazy i still mm. can't believe that shit all right nick so how do we feel about outdoor objects inside like leaves pine cones acorns dirt Dirt. <laughs> never dirt. Dirt really he made me add dirt. I told him not well, to no, add dirt. Well, no, because mine wasn't more of a decoration thing. It's like when someone tracks dirt inside. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. We were on different pages then. Yeah. But I just wanted to know your feelings on like when something dirty outside gets inside. Outdoors, inside, totally depends. It can up the cozy levels crazy. Mm. Because for our living room, we don't have, we're fucking weird. We don't have like posters and nothing. And like we got to, we actually got to get on that. You know we what I mean? We need to have like a, we need to have like a, a, us three meeting to really sit there and be like, I don't we think want... meeting is the no, right word. No, I think word. meeting. Nick, it's going. What, it's what come to the point where I think it's a meeting. It comes to the point where I think it's just like, hey, let's get it done. You know. I hate meeting. Like that's weird. I feel like anytime you sit and talk with someone, it's essentially like a meeting of people. Meeting. So okay, I think buddy. you're using it to like a heavy on the extra level <laughs> to like schedule a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> but, so what, why did you drop the T when you said it the second time? You went from meeting I heard what I did. to <laughs> Shut meeting. Up. But if you have like pumpkin stuffed animals everywhere and you have like like a pumpkin stuffed animal and like a nice little like um like a flannel patterned like throw blanket and like a poster. <laughs> I'm going to say a something. A poster. It's like a truck with pumpkins in it. It's like mm. a nice red truck on like a farm. I'm gonna ranch, say something, and, and I like, think Nick's gonna go crazy. The pine cones for the winter time. If that smells. That's not what I was gonna say. Ones, smell. It got, depends. Yeah. I got something, and I think Nick's gonna. Jeremy used to be that. Fully love this idea. Jeremy Grimm used to have like the the all the pine cones in the vase type shit. Uh, yeah. Rest in peace. Um, I think we should get like four Tupperware bins. Not Tupperware bins. What are they called? I don't. The big fucking Tupperware. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Big Tupperware bin. Like the huge ones. Tupperware or Tupperware? It's Tupperware. I was just saying it wrong because that Sal Volcano thing. Yeah, I know. But that one always confuses me now because I never know. Tupperware. Tupper. 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 Peas. Peas. Go, kid. Okay. I think we get them and have like a box of decorations for each season. I agree. Yeah. I knew you were going to love that. We already have a small Christmas box that I made. Because we only have very few. We have three Christmas ornaments. Yeah. We got to work on that. We need that to actually start doing what like mom used to do when we were kids. Where like everywhere we'd go and just travel, we'd buy a Christmas ornament just to be like, okay, we've been here. We need the ornament. Down. Okay. I thought you guys were both <laughs> yeah. going to be like stank faces. No, was down. Like, absolutely. Okay. Can't go glass though. If we're traveling. No, 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 like, no. Not going glass. No, never going ceramic glass. Ceramic and like wrap it up a little. Look at who we are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't do that. You did it first today. I know, but that All was right, just Chris, like... All right, Chris, I'm also going to read the next one because I know you're going to want to read the one that's after that. Okay. May- this is a maybe. Maybe Barnes & Noble? Absolutely Barnes & Noble. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Absolutely. Great. Um, Barnes & Noble, notoriously, <laughs> as a chain, I've seen Makes so many Makes you have to shit, right? Yeah. Oh, my Makes God. Makes you have to shit. Every... Don't know what it is. I've seen so many videos like people talking about like they have to shit the second they step foot in a Barnes and Noble. I'm w- I'm one of Mine, them. I'll sniff the air outside. I don't even have to get in all the way. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have to use the bathroom? <laughs> yep. I like That's literally crazy. like sense it See, as I'm in the here's parking lot. Barnes and Noble for me, hate reading. As me as an individual. But yeah. there's very few books if I like, I could read. But it's not even for about example, like, the reading part. Like, you can go in there and get, get a fuck ton of coloring books. Or just, like, Absolutely. Puzzle, like, puzzle cooking, books. Cooking books. I went there and so, got a like, cooking the whole book. Thing. I went there and got a cooking book. They really just got How many all. recipes have you used from it? I went there and I got a cooking book. <laughs> there once. you go. Uh-huh. And also, it was just the experience. Mm. I will say, every you time pretend th- you're going to read when you go. Like, you look around, yeah. hmm, and you're, like, thinking, like, what am I going to read? Yeah. And you're not going to read anything, I, like, but always, it's so fun. I always, like, think about, like, if I worked here, it'd be a nightmare because of how much, like, I just, just the, the atmosphere. Shit. Atmosphere. Yeah. Atmosphere. Yeah. They have, <laughs> like, I they, love parts of And they always though. have little, like, Starbucks inside. They just have little trinkets. And, and they snack. do have, they always have, like, the unique goodies. It's expensive, stuff. though, I feel like. It definitely it's, is. No, for sure. It definitely is. That's one thing that I would hate spending money on is, like, a book. Like, I was like, I just go oh to the my book. God. Books? <laughs> I was like, Dude, I'll just go to the library. Books are the only thing ask a friend for a list of words. <laughs> oh, books are the that. only thing that I've ever seen that it's, like, it says right on the back, like, 
USD eleven dollars, Canada fourteen. Yo, the Scholastic book fairs in middle school. That's the only were the lit. time that I think about. Those were so you know much what I'm fun. Talking about? I, I remember exactly thinking yeah. that it was like I was hacking the system because it was like buy one get one free, but it was like the cheaper thing was free, and I used to get like a ten cent eraser and like a book and be like, watch this, and I just get a 10 cent eraser for free well you should have got something way yeah, more expensive crazy. for free yeah i always thought it was the he wrong thought he was way paying for the 10 cent eraser and getting yeah the book for free yeah i was doing it wrong yeah definitely yeah very but i wouldn't get one free is such a crazy thing because it's like it it really could be anything in the store Bogo. for free if buy one get one i don't <laughs> fuck with the book fair at the school though because of like i loved it i enjoyed it personally but it was a whole thing like sometimes like i don't think parents gave their kids money to go no, to the yeah, book it did fair. get really and then it was all, like there was like posters and erasers and trinkets, and it was like the cool kid got to buy whatever he wanted to have like yeah, all yeah, sorts yeah. of like, erasers and shit. And it was like the people that were like their parents let them get one book. It's like everyone was focused on the erasers and do that. No one cared about my kids love books so much only when the book fair came around. No, because they threw like little playful like oh my god the sticker and, books. And, I mean, here's the thing: the way they do it and it's like a shop. Wait, I need to, it's like I a, a shop. Buy. No, the way like, they it's like, a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, like a it's whole like the thing. experience to get to shop in your school. It's like, yeah, wow. like what I was gonna say. I'm Nick getting a like, Pokemon hey, Go sticker, Pokemon sticker book. You got one, Matt? Absolutely. Hold on, Chris. What? We're getting Pokemon sticker books. Okay. Go ahead and let me know when Pokemon you're done. Pokemon sticker book. Do you want like everything in like first edition? First edition or I need to see it. We, let's do this a Lowland region sticker book. No, okay. I don't want a Lowland ones. We'll do this later. Okay. Oh. We can get the new region that's coming out in September. Matt, no, I just want a Togepi at least and an Espeon. But okay. put it away right now. I'll do it later. I got you. Um, I was gonna say I think like what they do in school is they always like take you out of like the class to do it. You know what I mean? Mm, Ooh, like, that's they, a big thing. Yeah, like if they took me out of class and I had to go like fucking fifteen minutes of your class time is actually like, like shopping browsing. Fair, like dude, I could have gone anywhere for fifteen minutes and leave class and I would have enjoyed it more. You know Literally, I mean? so I that's agree. another like thing to like. And it's, it's a, like, little a little shop. Yeah, it is pretty. Like neat. how many kids love to like shop? Like a little shop. Mm-hmm. Like come on, it was okay. a thing. Oh, Chris, you want to read the next okay, one? Okay, Nick. The next one. Tough guys that are really just softies. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You heard it yeah. right. Someone... I had two thoughts. Because when you first said tough guys, my brain went to, like, the fucking idiots with, like, really f- r- loud trucks and cars. And they're, like, in a parking garage. And they're, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just, like, so loud and crazy. Like, okay. Get the fuck out. Uh-huh. Never a need for that. I hate loud cars. I hate, I, I don't like tough guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like people think they're really tough and cool. <laughs> hate that. One of the things on this list, but further down is loud cars slash exhaust. So I'm glad we can just knock both of yeah. those out here. Uh, yeah. That's probably my least favorite thing. It's like guys will like, it's like, what are you even, what are you doing? What are it's you, like what a are mating you doing? call, you know? What, it's what? like they're like, <laughs> I don't get it at all. If I was a woman and I got in a car and the guy was like, watch this. And it was like, and it was just like this loud engine, <laughs> like this car garage. I'd literally get out of the car and light myself on fire. <laughs> okay. Literally drop a match at my feet and watch myself burn because I couldn't do it. I'd just be in such a state of shock. Yeah. But that was a, that was a. A move to impress me that I'd throw up. Uh-huh. And it's like people settle for that, which is even sadder. But see, and that I don't want to generalize joke. people with fast cars because some people are just really interested in cars. And it's like, okay, do your thing. Uh-huh. There's a difference. There's, between, a difference between, there's a difference between finding interest in cars and thinking that your loud engine is going to attract females. Weird. Okay. So tough guys that are really just soft. Big soft. Love that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Love that. Because it's like, it's like a um what am I thinking? The metaphors <laughs> just hit me in the head and it's crazy. One word I just wanted to say is like a lava cake. Like when you cut it and like the chocolate comes out, it's like such a shock. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't know why way. that metaphor just hit me in the head. Like it's like if you cut into like a chocolate frosted cake, it was like rainbow inside or something. It's like, wow, it's like a crazy you just like, said, like someone but that was my metaphor that you're hit me that's so funny. But seriously. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like a lava cake. I just enjoy that vibe a lot because it's like you, it's normally somebody you'd be terrified of. Because even think of this, I was on, um, we were on a first class flight here. And in first class, like you get seated next to one person instead of three. And I got seated next to this really like burly, scary man. And I was like, oh my God, I'm terrified. Like scared the entire flight. And then 
as we were literally getting off the plane, the lady was like talking to him, like the flight attendant. She's like, how are you? Whatever. She's like, he's like, oh, good. What are you like coming to Boston for? Because we're flying home. And he's like, oh, I'm going up to P-Town, which is like the gayest fucking city in America. And it's just like this big, scary man that I was terrified of the entire flight is like 80% or 90% also gay, probably about to spend a fucking weekend in a home filled with like eight gay men and like going to drag shows and it's like i was terrified you know and what at I mean? the beach yeah and it's like this man is probably just like me in the soul wow yeah. just, like don't judge a book by its cover it's like a lesson we learned yeah mm. that's so nice unless all they're right. driving a fast car judge that book all you want <laughs> that's crazy okay okay um, hold on a really nice chair you only gotta sit in it just a really nice chair like it looks good you don't want to talk about this? Totally different things for me. Because there's like... Mm, I don't know. I feel like this was... I was excited to write this I was one excited down. to write this well, one no, thinking, Like a nice rocking chair. New York venue. Yeah. Yes. Think of that big chair in the corner. Yeah. yeah How like, uncomfortable was it? Really uncomfortable. Yeah. So it's, so it's me, not about looks. It's just a really nice chair. Blindfold me and sit me in any chair, and I'm probably going to pick the falling apart wood one just because of like, really? you know See, what I mean? You're such like, a huge if chair If there's guy. like a big chair that's like nice, I think like visually wise, it's fun, but it's like, because that's my problem, honestly. And I think that's why you guys were a little surprised with my answer <laughs> is my problem is I'll see a chair and be like, literally in the mall yesterday. There was a there was a chair and I was like, oh my god, I love that chair. Mm -hmm. Didn't sit in it, so I don't know actually. Wow, wow. maybe it's a mystery. But like, sometimes I'll see, <laughs> oh, that's sometimes crazy. I'll see chairs and be like, that's a really low fucking couch, and I'll be like, that's kind of scary. Sit in it. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It all comes down to sitting in it for more than like three minutes. Then you can actually share a for real opinion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I do love like a fun chair could put a whole room together. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Good answer, Nick. Good answer. Thank you. You're on fire. What about, um, Matt, what does that even say? Pestering. Oh. Just the Just idea of pestering, pestering somebody. somebody. Like, ugh. Like a little pestering. Like how Matt pesters people. Like you're just a little pest. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think. Think Matt, about it. Matt is a different type of pestering. He's not really pestering. He's like... He's like beat a horse down. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like he waits until you're on your last ever moving ability to do something and then just punches you in the face. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Matt's an instigator. Like if like two people are arguing, he'll be like, like he's like the dragger. You know what I mean? Oh, like yeah. Matt's like, <laughs> that's true. Matt's an instigator when it comes to things. He's like a little pestering, like little like, but I don't even think that's like the right term for pestering. I think mm. pestering's like. When a little kid's like the store and he asks their mom for the same thing a hundred oh times. My God. And then they're crying and banging on their parents' thigh. Like, please. Like, as if they're going to like fall apart and die without yeah, whatever yeah. it is. Because when I was a kid, I'd just see something and my I'd like fucking like, you know that clip of Junie from Spy Kids? Like the goggles just choom, 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 choom. And it's like, yes. it's like locked in on it. That was me. Like, I'd see anything and just be like, I want that. No matter what it was, it could be something I don't even know, but I like the color of it. Like, there were probably some really weird things I was asking for as a literal child just because I locked in on it. Like, I'd see a lawn chair be like, I need that. Yeah. Every time I'm the whole time, we need this chair. And it'd be like oh, that for chair. Me. Oh, my God. But for some kids, it's literally like a toy or like a mm -hmm. gift card. For me, it was something that I'd just see and I'd need. You just like looking at like it. Like, one time, there was uh, the school we went to from kindergarten to sixth grade had like a... It was like a yard sale, I right? remember one thing you bought just Shut for up. looks. And I'm so appalled by it to this day. What? In <laughs> a TJ Maxx, at the very end of, like, when you're going through the aisles, you know what I was talking about? Yeah. At the TJ Maxx when they all got the gizmos in the line? Yeah. It was a buttered popcorn-only jelly bean thing. Just because it looked like a really good it looked, decision. It looked like, like a popcorn thing and, like, looked like it was full. And you bought it. And one... Then, 100% incorrect. Would definitely correct. 100% incorrect. I definitely bought that for Matt. That's his favorite jelly bean. Your I, favorite's buttered those, popcorn. Those repulse me. <laughs> yeah, that's those crazy. Those repulse me. <laughs> like, I genuinely, like, I think that if you got one of those and you, like, held it up in front of me, I'd 
fall to the ground and ash. Like, it just disintegrate. I haven't, I haven't had one. Matt in, like, I haven't had one loves like, those. I think years. you got it fucked up here. No, that was you. Then I was definitely getting it no, for you him. simply liked the fact that it, like, looked like a theater popcorn box. And it Wrong. Was still... No. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Well, but don't look at me. Nick, you just said one... you buy shit just off of looks, even if you don't want it. That's yes, literally why I you did it. I hate those. Like, there's, like, things that I'll never bring myself to buy. You're insane. I don't like like I would never buy it because it looks like I don't. I've never seen Jelly Belly packaging that looks like movie theater popcorn ever. Uh, Matt, I don't know. Let's see, come on. I don't know if I. Agree I with definitely that. bought it for Matt because there's no way I bought it and like kept. What also, it was food. There's no way I was buying food to not eat. That's one thing I don't buy. <laughs> okay. Once. Every sure. time I purchase an item that's consumable, I'm fucking eating that shit. What about the little bottles that have the um, the soda flavored jelly beans? You were a sucker for those. Yeah, Dr. Those Pepper. Are good, but I never bought, I never bought bought a popcorn once, I'll tell you that. I know, dude, whenever I wash my hair, do your guys' nose get itchy? My nose like, is so dry. My today. hair always, like, falls on my nose. Like, I hate washing my hair, dude. Because then I just get, like, yeah. Oh, well, sh- shut up. What were you asking me? You were saying something about the, like, something about our old school. Um, the school we went to when we were in kindergarten to sixth grade, it was, like, a yard sale that they would do. Yeah. He said... <laughs> it was like a yard sale that they would do, and mm-hmm. it was like a um. Oh my god, my you allergies. could pay for like a little lot, like you could pay to put a blanket down and put like some of your shit there, and it was basically like thirty yard sales all on the school lot. Good. I saw this thing. It was like clouds on like it was like white clouds on like this blue pillow, and I was like, I want that, and it was like shaped like a neck rest. You know what I mean? Like over your neck. Yeah. Okay. And it was like I thought it was a neck pillow. Oh, god. oh dear god! <laughs> and I bought it. I showed it to mom. She's like, who sold you that? And I was like, why? She's like, who sold you that? I was like, the one over there. She made me return it. And I was like, what even is that? And it's like, apparently, like, when you change your baby's, like, diaper, you, like, sit them on, like, this oval-shaped, like, pillow or something. And it's for, like, it's like a baby pillow for, like, baby's butts and, like, sitting there, like, getting their diaper changed and, like, laying down. I don't know what it is. I know exactly what you're talking about now. Yeah, I have to search it up. I thought it was a neck pillow. It's the exact same shape. I'm going to look it up. (laughs) <laughs> That's, like, disgusting, because it's probably used. Let me look it up. Did you put Nick. it around your neck at all? Wearing it the whole time. I was showing mom. <laughs> oh, that's so um, nasty. crazy. Get that fucking neck baby pillow. ass on his neck. <laughs> baby thing. Neck pillow baby, baby thing. thing. <laughs> Let's see if that works. Oh, my God. That's so funny. Oh, it's a nursing pillow. Nursing pillow. That oh, sounds that nasty. Sounds, that's, like, is that, like, to hold the baby? Yeah, I think while you're like, it's like you put your baby in it while they're like, <laughs> while they're like drinking from a bottle. Oh, okay. uh, I don't know if it's a bottle. They're drinking no, it from, is. I'm okay. looking at photos. Let me see it. Well, they can't show like, you the other form. Yeah. Let's see it. Hold on. Oh my God. All dude. right. I'm going to read the next hold thing. On, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's like, um, it was like, um, like this. See that baby? And he's like fully. Oh, wow. <laughs> he's <laughs> chilling. He's like fully in like what looks like a neck pillow. That's right? so you funny. could use that as a neck pillow. You could, but it's for babies. <laughs> wow. I don't think it actually has anything to do with diaper changing. I was okay. wrong. Okay. But it is like, I, I think it's like a baby seat. All right, Nick. How do you feel about Valentine's Day funded boxes? Like the quantity size that you're supposed to give out to all your classmates? It's like 20. Valentine's Day fund it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like 24 boxes. A lot of things I do are strange. Okay. <laughs> For example, Chris, what do I do with fund it? He keeps an emergency one on him no matter where he goes. Because if he gets a little dizzy or like wants something sweet, <laughs> he, he just eats the fund it. Sometimes you know, I You know, crave... I had a diabetic teacher that would do the same thing, but with butterscotch. I'm not diabetic. Sometimes I crave sugar, and I'm like, or I'm like in a bad mood, and I might have a headache. I'm like, I need a fucking fun dip. Uh-huh. So nine times out of ten, I have a fun dip with me. <laughs> yeah. So the Valentine's Day ones I used to buy and just keep. I eat fun dip a lot. Not really, but like I have like weird little spur of the moments. Like yeah. like three months will pass, I'll eat twenty fun dips, and then three <laughs> more months will pass. But love fun dip. I have one in my nightstand right now, just in case. Like, there's no way. Do you actually? <laughs> <laughs> could be in my bag, but I have a fun dip. <laughs> okay. I could get it in like five minutes. We don't have time for that. Yeah. But no, I could don't. get a fun dip within five minutes. That's crazy. That, at all times, <laughs> That's usually. Crazy. So the Valentine's Day packs are good because I can stock up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. We're great. I also just one. love, 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 love Valentine's Day stuff because it's like 
oh, you're supposed to give them all out, but it's like the biggest deal of the century. It mm-hmm. really is. Like you're just getting 48 mini packs of what you usually eat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you're not scoring in on that, you're crazy. I okay, agree. Nick. History teachers. I've had some pretty good and terrible history <laughs> yeah, teachers in my day. Yeah. So I'm trying to think of every history teacher I've had. <laughs> that's crazy. The last history teacher I had ever before like junior year. Yeah. Don't know why I didn't take history senior year. I, I don't, don't have either. to. It's optional. To. Oh, it's optional? It's yeah. three years. In high my junior history teacher, probably one of my favorites. Really? Mm-hmm. But I also loved history until I had a specific history teacher like kindergarten through sixth grade when like your teacher is just like loosely knows about every subject and they're your one teacher and they teach Mm. you everything i loved history so kindergarten through sixth grade i loved learning about history stuff then once it was seventh and eighth grade our teacher was a little crazy yeah a little bit i remember when oh my god i remember when um donald trump got like elected or was like gonna be the president it's like obviously i was upset as well because i don't fuck with donald trump but teacher was in shambles well the teachers aren't really supposed to show their side yeah Yeah, they're not supposed to you're not supposed to talk politics or anything like that but i remember we all went into school that day and she was just like she used the kids as like a therapy she lost her voice Mm -hmm. she was crying she was wrapped she was, dude, in I a remember, blanket. She was wrapped in a blanket. I was oh like, my God, girl, this I remember ain't cut that. time. You don't teach preschoolers. Get the fuck up. It yeah, was that was crazy. crazy. She was like <laughs> literally like caught time. Cried the whole day. Literally lost her voice in a blanket. Emotional. She was like wreck. telling kids like, if you need to talk to someone, you can. And I was like, I don't know if like. It's like, yeah, Donald Trump wasn't a the good president, but the U.S. didn't catch on fucking fire yeah. in that moment. Like, she was acting like well, it was no, like... Well, no, she just... It's just weird because she's a teacher. Like, I don't think yeah. teachers are, like... They're not supposed they're to... They're not supposed to, like, share their, like, yeah, side but that was like crazy. That. I had a good history teachers in high school as well. Yeah. I just used to, like... It was specific teachers that were just disrespectful that I constantly beef with. Yeah. Like, if I didn't like a teacher, it was known and they knew it and it was just, like, never gonna work. Yeah. What about a lightning USB cable? Which one's that? The thin one. The For newest phone? one. Yeah. We got to figure this out. Because <laughs> we got USB-C to lightning. Cool. Is that the new thing? I don't know. I've seen it everywhere. What is are we doing now? I don't know. Like someone just, there needs to be like a mass, like, this is the cable. I yeah, agree. Now. You know what I mean? I agree. What are we doing? Swapping yeah. it up. I feel like like just crazy. a lot of them are just like. Like, what do you really do with an old charger? You know what I mean? I agree. It's kind of weird to me. It's just more and more and more of my shit are like, the chargers are dying out. Yeah. So I have to upgrade what they are. I agree. Because it's like, like my headphones recently, I just bought new headphones. I can't find a charger for it on the face of this earth. Insane. Like, you can't, like the new ones? No, Chris. What? The old old headphones, obviously. You found them? I knew you were talking about that. No! Oh. All right, I'm skipping this. Whatever, n- dude. I, Nick lost his headphones miraculously, disappeared, gone in the wind. I still don't know how you do shit like I that. I don't either. Like, things just disappear. I feel like they might be back home. That's my guess. No way. In Boston, yes. I don't know what I Did do. Did you wear them on the flight here? Abs- no. Wait, absolutely. Maybe. Dude, stop rubbing your eyes. It's freaking me out. I don't know. Nick just right. loses shit. I'm skipping the- See, that's the thing. I'll misplace stuff. Nick will just lose it. Like, it's gone for, for good. No, Very you guys true. Both, you guys both just lose nope, shit. Nope, I misplaced. No, you lose. I misplaced. I lose. own 20 cadillion more objects <laughs> than both of you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I am prone to losing shit because I carry shit around. Matt lugs his fucking back half of his ass and you do nothing. <laughs> So That's it's like crazy. It's like obviously if you're both I do nothing. If you're yeah, both like, carrying you're something. If you're both carrying nothing but yourself, you have nothing to lose. Crazy. Okay. I carry two bags every time we leave the house. Whoa, almost Whoa. knocked this sketch, buddy. All right, I'm skipping the next two because it's loud cars slash exhaust and then people that have books but don't read any. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> have to talk about it. Okay. The worst. Mm-hmm. Actually, no, they're not. Because I don't mind, like, book decor. Like, if you got a cool book that, like, looks cool and, like, you put it on, like, a... No, like, if you have a shelf... What about someone like... that, like, claims they're reading and stuff? They're really not. I don't like people that are like, I love reading. Like, reading's my escape. And it's like, they Google, like, most popular author right now by, like, most best-selling book. It's like, okay, bandwagon, bandwagon. That's crazy. <laughs> like, I know one person that I'm thinking of very, very particular in my head. You're not a reader. You think you are. Oh, I think I, I know. You're I not know a reader. Too. I think I know. Uh, someone send it to me. And it's not Arrington, because I know people are going to say, like, 
Oh, you were just talking about Arrington's Arrington a good reader. No, Arrington Arrington's reads re- and Arrington paves the way for reading yes, books. Yes, he does. Correct. Who's the fake reader? Transport to my head. Think of them really hard. Nick's always thinking about them a little bit. Couples PDA. Public, Public display, display of, of affection. affection. Making out, out what it means. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was a PDF. I'm like, the file? I'm like, what does that mean? PDA. Uh, I feel like it's worse at like amusement parks. Like, think of them on the Ferris wheel. Like Disneyland? Yeah. Well, like in line. How about yesterday? <laughs> Go to the, the movies when we pull up to the like parking thing like and there's like time and a place. Like if you're like, wow, we got him. We got him. Stumped him. I think like holding hands is always normal. I yeah. agree. I think that like, oh, I just hate seeing a guy like, like when him and his girlfriend are like in line and he's like grabbing her ass like in uh, like let not, go of her like this let go of her <laughs> let go of her I don't care if she's like okay like, it's weird yeah because it's like you're just like ah uh, yeah I don't I don't I can't get behind like a, a full ass grab in public like, <laughs> yeah that's I don't, I don't crazy. get that either yeah that's crazy mm-hmm. but like romantically you know what I mean like I think people like jokingly to poke each other's butts or like smack each other's butts like that's funny and like a group of friends you know what I mean but like, if you're fully like gripping onto another <laughs> gripping human that being ass in, in public, public it's, crazy yeah, it's yeah I loud. agree crazy okay oh my next God. one next one another maybe but ad libs and songs love them love them right most important part of a song imagine a song with wow. no ad libs I feel like it'd be pretty normal honestly I feel like background vocals and like harmonizing in the background is way more important than the, like a like ad lib you can't lib. have one track of music playing the whole time you could that's like actually very popular nah there's usually like dips and ins and outs like with things like there's like this and that and it's I like I think I got a I got I think I got a good last one go ahead Matt I feel like it makes the song go good to great. Are you oh, ready wow. for a good last one, Nick? Yeah. How do you feel about silly little riddles? Like just silly little riddles. I feel like we need more. Nope, just a silly little riddle. No, I feel like we need more. What do you mean? Like I feel like every silly little riddle I know the answer to because oh, they've wow. been used. They've been used since kindergarten. I thought you were really gonna like that one. Like just like really enjoy riddles. I do. We need more. Okay, like I have actually I'm a couple saying, more we got to ask. Okay, what Chris I'm saying is a that we more. have, like, oh, the kid are like, oh, the Oval Castle, they killed this person in the corner. Like, we know it. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. know it. It's like, I know your <laughs> riddle. We need, like, a, another riddler to come here and give, like, a good new 300. Yeah. 300? That's a, that's a big <laughs> ask, I think. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thought if you were a fucking riddler, you better have a million. Hey, someone just come through with 300 brand new riddles? Like, that's kind of a big ask. If you Google, like, oh, what's a riddle? I can tell my friends they're a little trick. I want to tell them a story. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's one, one of them. Little, little tricks. Little tricks. I love little tricks. <laughs> like, if you want to, like, just trick your friend, like, you can do a little magic trick, or you can, like, do a little this, do oh, a little that. Like, like, anything with, like, a little, bur- little sprinkle of fun. I like it. That's why I'm saying with, like, riddles and stuff. If you have a riddle, if you Google top 10 riddles and you tell someone, if I go up to a stranger and I'm like, I got riddles for you, and you tell them the 10 riddles <laughs> and you try. If up to me and said, I got riddles for you, I'd lose it. No, if you go up to like a friend, you're like, yo, do you want to like be riddled? And, <laughs> do you want to be riddled? And you ask them like 10 riddles, one out of the 10 of you use the top 10 Google searches, that motherfucker will solve or yeah. know the answer to. Because mm. we need more. Yeah. Okay. Couple, I don't know who Nick, brings- I have a couple more. Okay. Um, when a guy brags about his hoes, define bragging. Like, like just like what's really going like on? open about like how like many hoes he has and like like pulls like, like check out pulls, this like, and like showing like, like just everyone. really like horny talking about like his girls like like he like he's him like he's like, got like, a he roster. He's a guy. He thinks he's got he's, thinks he's got it going on, and he like has to show <laughs> everyone. I don't think I've ever been in a position in which I've had to deal with a man who like really does that. Mm. Yeah. You've heard of them, though. So it just blows my mind. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, they exist, but I haven't had to do it. It's like that. an yeah. unspeakable It's thing. really weird. Yeah. Really weird. Leg room under any circumstance. Necessary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Completely necessary. I, I think that... I think that planes should just have less seats in them. Yeah. And fly more often. Employ more people to be flight attendants and pilots and stuff. Make more planes, take out some seats. Everyone should be comfortable. Yeah, but then that pollutes the earth. <laughs> We're <laughs> going down anyway. But that, well, that's, that's a good point. Dude, if, if, the earth. if economy planes with polluting the earth, tell Taylor Swift to sell her private jet. She's 
running up the bill on her own there. No, apparently she's like the number one polluter. Big polluter. But I look at her during the error story. Like, she's got to, she's not going to take fucking, in a, look at how many fucking Swifties were in the airport when we were flying. That is that true. Time. Yeah. Fucking, I got pink cowboy hats and. Um, people that smoke cigars after graduation, like right after. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, I just felt a pit in my stomach. <laughs> I think like Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. We <laughs> oh have, my god. Wait, we got a lot of good ones. We dude. do. No, oh we gotta save god. some of these and bring them into like Go ahead, Nick. We, I have like three more I wanna reach on. Thinking of like it's like the people that like don't like publicly like the kids who like their parents would be mad at them for drinking or smoking. Yeah. So their parents don't know that they like get the cigar and it's like their parents like let them say like take photos with it and it's like all cute and cool. It's like if you have to document the substances in which you're abusing, you're not a regular substance abuser. Correct. Like people will like have like uh, a blunt or a joint and be like like posing with it and like taking Snapchats and photos. It's like you're corny. Yeah. And like if you smoke, you don't you're not taking photos of you smoking unless you post it like naturally like if someone takes your photo and you're smoking and you post it normal because you were smoking it's like if you have to advertise what you're doing you're a fucking loser because you're genuinely doing it just for people to like think you're cool correct like if you're like taking photos like a cigar and you're not like an avid cigar -er, loser loser anything you do for the first time or like second time or third time while you're like also getting your photos taken just goes to show you're trying to do it for like attention lame so lame it's like smoke your cigar after your graduation, but don't take photos with it. Ugh. Basic necessities, but you need to get the cashier to unlock it. Fucking stupid. <laughs> like every time. But everything's getting locked up, but it's like because people are stealing, so I kind of understand. But it's like have like hire a security guard for the door or something. Yeah, but they can always hide in a park. Or have an employee stay on the aisle. Yeah. Instead of having a fucking a thing that like it's fully locked that you have to get an employee. If you have to get an employee to unlock something every single time, it's like just have, have it's an, like, I just don't want to stink. Have you know? an employee stand in the aisle. Okay, okay Nick. I have if a an couple employee more. has to be there every single time to unlock it, have the employee stand in the aisle and just watch. Yeah, definitely. No one was no one would steal if an employee was standing at the front of an aisle looking straight. <laughs> okay. You're not gonna steal from that aisle. But also, people are usually not stealing basic necessities. They're stealing things that they can, like, profit off of. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, who's going to steal yeah, but, like, deodorant and mouthwash? A lot of people would, though. A lot of people. Just because it's, like, cheap. Let like... them. If someone's stealing deodorant, they stink. Steal it. It's, like, also, that's what I don't get. Like, if people are, like, stealing from Target, right? It's, like, come on, Target. You have so much money. <laughs> Do your best to, like, obviously stop stealing. But it's like, come on. People are going to steal. Yeah. Oh, my God. I Don't a, steal, I but, like, people are going to steal. I have a confession. Ooh. Really big confession. Go, Not really kid. big, but just a funny confession. One time when we were shopping with our mom in Target, I think we were, like, 12 years old. And we had all the... Well, my mom went crazy in Target, probably, like, $300 worth of things. Put it back in the cart. And I had a Sharpie that I got from the arts and crafts aisle. And I just put it in the cart. And it had, like, barcode on it, everything, like, the little security tag. And then when we left, when we were leaving and my mom was pushing the cart through, the thing went off. because she Over did... a Sharpie? Over a Sharpie. The thing... I don't believe that. I swear. Kind of on... crazy to me. I swear on everything, the shar... it made the, sharp... the Sharpie made it go off. And I got so nervous because I was like, I did it as a joke, but I thought that I was going to get arrested. You thought you were going to get fully locked up over... Yeah, over a Sharpie. Yeah, That's I crazy. don't believe... A lick of that. Okay, wow. you don't have to believe it. I don't... Come on, Matt. A Sharpie setting off a s detector? Yes. Sharpie. <laughs> Nick, a Sharpie. Nick, this a is good. permanent marker. Nick. Yep. Bread first. Like, <laughs> the bread comes first before anything else. What, a fucking church? What are you saying? No, bread, bread first. first. Like, at the table. Over like, any bread circumstance. First. Bread first. Oh. I hate butter. <laughs> That's <laughs> fine. Right. So it's like, people are like, oh, bread and butter. Like, at every meal. It's like, I'm just eating bread. Yeah, I think fine, bread's though. a good way to just, like, prepare your stomach for more. But also, I could eat, like, 30 pieces of bread. And, like, uh, it actually, like, once you eat bread, you kind of get full. So yeah. I don't know if bread's, <laughs> like, the best choice. Yeah. As long as it's, like, oh, my God, like, bread and oil and stuff. Like, Oh, ooh, my God. That's oh, good. my God. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. But, I think, Chris, are we good? Yeah, I, I don't have think one, it's necessary. I have one to last one I have to ask. Okay. You. I don't think it's necessary depending on the restaurant. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, I'm I never agree. expecting bread first at IHOP. 
Never. No, no. Pizza place wouldn't hate it because it's like yeah. all you're getting is pizza or like pasta. pasta? Mm. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Bread first is huge. All right, though. last one, Nick. Texas Roadhouse. Oh my God, yeah. That's next Best level. bread in the world. Oh my God. A boxing press conference or like a face off? <laughs> <laughs> you like? Like, a, like they're like in each other's face like this. I just think that <laughs> taking the photos is corny. Yeah, it's so funny. I just photoshopped them together. I personally think that for fights, they should get each person, right? Put them in like cage right in front of each other, right? And then do something like vile. Like they make this person like do something vile to someone that this person loves. And in the same way, the other way around, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? In front of them. Then you take them out of the cage and you separate them for like eight months before the fight. And you just make them think about that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so <laughs> really get them like in, really get them like the fueled fight. up and angry, right? Yeah. Fights would be the most entertaining thing in the world. If you're not fighting someone with passion, you don't want to. I don't like like the whole like people fight each other and they're like, respect, respect, no respect. I want to <laughs> see bloody knuckles. You know what I mean? Coming out of this. Like, if you're respecting the person you're fighting, you're not fighting to the fullest fruition of which you can. Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Like, I don't want to see people fight and then like hug. Oh my God, we did it. We boxed and you won. It's like, no, I want this person's head to be ripped off their body. Well, thank you guys That's for tuning in this episode of the Healthcare <laughs> Care Podcast. It was a very funny one. Yes, I would was. never do that. I could never fight. Can we take no. the photos like this, please? No. Yeah. I yeah, think that would be no. so funny. Yeah. I could never fight. Oh, my God. That's a whole other species of people, too. It's like, for them to have to fight, it's like, do your thing, but wow. I couldn't do it. That's why I made that joke, because it's like, I'm obviously not going to actually realistically answer that, because I'd never be in a position in which I'm fighting somebody. Good to know. <laughs> what are you, a news outlet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, peace out, everyone. See you later. Next up, B.